Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. Um, today we're going to take a look at using one of the categories of uh, function in Excel that I've not touched on before, um, Excel's date and time functions. We have a look at the formulas tab and the formulas ribbon. Um, you may well have seen various other YouTube videos that I've recorded covering things like, uh, for example, lookup and reference functions. Um, drop down here and um, some of those of course you may recognize. We've had a look at in the past uh, as well at various logical functions um, in Excel which is again you may well have um, had a look at my various videos in the past. We've had a look at text functions various options available to us here, various functions available to us here, but as I say, I'm going to concentrate today in this video on um, the date and time functions, and I'm going to start with the topmost function here, the date function, one of the classics, I guess, been around a long, long time. Uh, you may recognize, of course, this is Excel 2013, um, Excel 2007, 2010, 2013, which of course is what this is, or 2016, any of those versions, um, and previous versions of course of Excel as well. Uh, the date function has been around quite a long time um, so let me just have a look at that tool tip once again. So uh, the date function takes three arguments year, month and day of course separated by commas and it gives us a little bit of information on exactly how uh, or what that particular function does do, what it returns from the various arguments that you specify. Of course we could get Excel to tell us more um, but um, that's what I'm going to be doing. So let me just zoom in so you can see it really nice and clearly. Okay, so I've got a particular cell selected here, but it doesn't matter for this first illustration. So I will equals date and tab or open brackets, for example, and there we can see our three arguments, year, month, and day, for example, the various three arguments that we've got here. So there's the little typical kind of tool tip. Now, I'm going to use the current year which is 2016 comma I'm going to use the current month comma and I'm going to use the current day and return or enter and that is today's date very very simple of course very simple illustration to start off with so let's go back to it press F2 have a look at that uh, formula that formula containing the date function in a little bit of detail contains three arguments one the first argument represents the year second argument represents the month and the third argument represents the date fully appreciate of course I'm sure you guys are kind of um, picking me up on this uh, those are hard-coded numbers which are rather to say the least bad practice in Excel but just as our first illustration what I could of course do is I could use uh, various other date time functions um, to return those numbers from today's date for example um, but I'm going to leave that for a future video okay so that's how the date function works let's put it into a little bit of practice now I've got a raw data set here um, a data set that I've actually used for my pivot table videos um, in the past so you may recognize it. I've got three columns of information. Now I've down downloaded this data from some system for a client and unfortunately for one reason or another um, the client doesn't get a column or a field that represents the actual date of this particular order placed by this particular customer for example likewise of course with the various other orders uh, and customers with whom these guys deal. So not a problem because they do actually have separate bits of data representing the day of the order, the month of the order and the year of the order for example down through that um, data set. Quite a few rows or records in there. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column between the year column or field and the customer column or field and this is going to ultimately become the actual date of the order, the order date. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that date function, but I'm going to use cell references, of course, this time. So I will equals date tab, click and select the first argument, D2, which contains the year, comma, second argument, C2, which contains the month as a separate item, a separate piece of data, comma, uh, what is it? B2, of course, which contains the day information or the day data. Return or enter, 4th of July, back up to it, double click the fill handle in the bottom right corner to fill all the way down quickly and easily. 
right down to the bottom of that data set go back up to the top once again F2 so there we go of course on that first sheet is a quick illustration using the date function with hard-coded numbers yeah bad practice appreciated that uh, generally of course um, but as a quick illustration year comma month comma day of course this is much better can I put into practice using cell references using a date function the year argument the month argument and the day argument to return the actual order dates for each of these rows or records in this data set. That's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Do look up for my various other videos here on YouTube covering a wide variety of Excel functionality. And again, guys, it really doesn't matter what version of Excel you're using, you will find something that's uh, appropriate uh, for your use of Excel. Bye-bye.